So there's a repository on GitHub for getting the Azure Connect working with body tracking and I've spent the entire day pretty much just going through error after error trying to resolve it and I'm going to run through it right now and the two main things you need to get are the uh, this line of code here basically we're just going to change it from GPU to using CUDA and you're going to be using the body tracking SDK 101 uh, this is what I've had it working with and we're going to be using Unity 2020.1 I will put a comment in the description below if I get it working with 1.0, sorry, 1.11, and also if I can get it working on Unity 2021, as this is something that I want to do. And if I get it working, I'll I'll, uh, I'll put a description below. But the process should be the same. So once you've installed your uh, SDK, you're going to find them in Program Files for Body Tracking SDK, and in Tools, you're going to have all of the libraries here, and you're also going to have your Azure Connect SDK 1.4 one and you're gonna have to need you're gonna need these uh, initially so if i go over to open and we're going to navigate to my downloads where i have the samples master package cloned already i'm going to go to body tracking samples and just open it initially and i'm going to be using the 2020.2 package uh, it's quite close to the original 2019 one it's just to kind of to alleviate any issues initially and then i can migrate this to 2021 hopefully once the editor finally loads, Unity Hub has been quite tedious for me. Uh, be sure to just kill everything related to Unity in the task manager if it fails to load, but you'll get there eventually. First thing we're going to do is go to our scripts and just open up one of the scripts there. So Visual Studio will pop up and what we'll do here is run a quick command for our new Git package manager and we're just going to ensure that everything inside uh, our scripts here so if i open this in our explorer i'll show you exactly um, we just need to make sure that all these packages in the config by default are updated um, because you can, they're not included obviously in the download so it's just going to get the connect 141 and copy it into the package folder as you can see it's empty just now so the uh, command we're going to run is just going to be update package reinstall which is good so that's us installed that and the next thing we're going to do is we could run this move library files what you'll notice is if I can save it if I scroll up before it dies it's copied everything so far I'm going to click enter uh, and it says cannot find file specified a bit of a, a red flag uh, so what I'm just going to do is let this play out and you'll notice here that we have some DLLs that's been transferred over but crucially uh, based on the on the forms the, the actual file we need uh, is not all the files we need aren't included there so let's go tr over to our body tracking SDK go over to tools and this DLL, this DLL, and and the Cuff T sixty four ten DLL as recommended in this uh, breakdown here. I've also commented the solution myself, and I'll link that in the description if you just want to run through that. Uh, so I'm just going to copy these into the root directory here, and then what will happen is based on the plugins has also been recreated. Uh, I'm going to paste them in here as well because it failed to do it previously and we need to make sure this runs inside the, the Unity project as well. And what we'll notice hopefully is that the compiling errors will have disappeared. And the next step would be to load up the skeletal skeletal tracking provider scroll down to tracking tracker processing mode line 46 change gpu to cuda um oh and an xqd ep to run the tracker which actually makes sense this is not available in any previous versions of the body tracker sdk uh 111 it will probably still have it but 101 does not this is uh, the critical part of the of the change and that's simple that's it done simply i say uh in hindsight uh, the main object has we have a game object here with the main script in it 
and we also have the tracker and if I click play right now hopefully we'll get something that does not show a, uh, uh, the error message involving K4A result failed um, so that looks pretty reassuring to me uh, let's just go up to main camera and just change our perspective and uh, just have a quick check so if I make this a bit bigger so we can see yeah so we can see we're now getting tracking it feels a bit laggy honestly uh, but I will investigate that later on and you can see the head movement and doing a little 360 there um, I'm not actually front facing the, the lens just now but that's how you can get it working and now you can explore by importing your own rigs into it I'll release a tutorial on that later on uh, but getting this initially running was a bit of a nightmare so hopefully this helps someone